In this video, we will have a look at how humans could live 150 years in the metaverse. Let's get started. Have you ever thought that someday you would just upload your brain and its contents onto a server and live on for hundreds of years? Is it really possible, or is it just in the movies? Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will have a look at the possibility of humans living for 150 years if they just upload their brains on the web. But before we continue, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, could this actually happen? Humans have been obsessed with being immortal and living for hundreds of years for years now. This has made scientists try to figure out how humans could actually become immortal and live for up to 150 years. With the advancement of technology in this modern world, what we see in movies could become real. Think of it like in the film Altered Carbon, where your mind is just transferred into a new body, and you continue living. However, this time, your mind is transferred to a robotic body or in the metaverse, instead of another human body. This theory has recently been given new light by a Russian billionaire named Dmitry Itskov. Dmitry believes that there will come a time when humans will be able to live forever. Itskov has made a fortune from a media company based in Moscow. He is also a member of and the founder of the 2045 Initiative. The 2045 Initiative is mostly a non-profit organization developing a network and community of researchers who will primarily focus on the fields of life extension. They are also focusing on combining brain emulation with robotics to create some sort of cyborg. Dmitry Itskov founded the organization in February 2011 with the help of Russian specialists in the fields of neural interfaces, robotics, artificial organs, and systems. According to the organization's website, the main goal of the 2045 initiative is to create technologies enabling the transfer of an individual's personality to a more advanced non-biological carrier and to extend life, including to the point of immortality. They are working towards enabling the fullest possible dialogue between the world's major spiritual traditions, science, and society. According to the projects that the initiative has planned to do, they are working toward making artificial bodies a reality by the year 2045. With the help of the internet, these artificial bodies will allow humans to move out of their old bodies and into new ones. When you look at the 2045 Initiative's manifesto, Itzka says, people will make independent decisions about the extension of their lives and the possibilities for personal development in a new body, after the resources of the biological body have been exhausted. The concept behind making this possible is known as mind uploading. It is said to help people make a digital copy of their minds that could freely live in cyberspace without any biological restrictions. But what exactly is this mind uploading? Mind uploading is a hypothetical process that is meant to separate the person's consciousness from his body. It is intended to convert this consciousness into a digital format before transferring it into the machine. Mind copying, mind transfer, mind preservation, and whole brain emulation WBE, could all be used to get this done, among other things. At the beginning of the process, they have to find a way to extract or copy the information from the brain. The brain alone has more than 125 trillion synapses in the cerebral cortex. Some scientists who have discussed this suggest that it would involve dissecting the brain first for them to replicate the information thoroughly. As a side note, mind uploading is moving toward a non-invasive brain procedure that can help them get enough information from the brain without killing the person. After copying the information from the brain successfully, they have to reconstruct the artificial brain. According to Scientific American, the brain's memory storage capacity can be roughly estimated at about 2.5 petabytes, equal to 2,500 terabytes. Suppose they want to store all the information. In that case, they have to build an ample enough memory that can process all this information. At the moment, the largest artificial neural network, which is known as the GPT-3, is only a fraction of the brain's capacity. After they successfully achieve this, they must match consciousness to a substrate, such as a metaverse. They can also check it into a network of artificial brains connected. Another option that is now available is Musk's Optimus humanoid robot. It is said that this robot is supposed to act as the new physical body of a person, but more on that later. It will require more than skill before they can go through all these steps and make the mind uploading successful. It would also require a lot of time, effort, and money from the scientists, researchers, and tech companies working towards achieving successful mind uploading. But all this is just a theory. So only time can tell whether it will be successful or not. 
Apart from the 2045 initiative, one of the companies trying to make this possible is Facebook's parent company, Meta. Meta is currently working to build the first actual virtual reality world in which people can exist all the time. Given that, this would be a 3D world centered around social connections, it could actually make it the next natural step after social media. Unlike Itzkov's idea of uploading your mind, the metaverse tries to blend elements of the natural world and the virtual world. When you also look at Elon Musk's Neuralink company, the idea behind mind uploading does not seem so far-fetched. Neuralink, founded by multi-billionaire Elon Musk, is working towards creating a brain-computer interface that would allow for uninterrupted brain-computer interaction. This would enable the brain to do things previously thought to be unimaginable. Such technology is what is going to help transform the world and pave the way for whole brain uploading. However, all this development is still in the embryonic stage, and it has yet to start the whole story. Not only Neuralink, but Elon Musk is also developing the said humanoid robot, which is known as Optimus. He plans to commercialize this robot by 2023. This goes hand in hand with the machines he is developing to give humans the ability to download brain capacities and personalities. This robot is said to be a perfected humanoid robot that will have the ability to take on the nature of its owner. So, if someone were to get themselves one of these, they would have the ability to program it with different personality traits and have it act like them. The CEO of Business Insider, Matthias Doppner asked Elon Musk whether it would be possible for people to transfer their brain functions straight into Optimus. Musk responded to this by saying that it would be possible. Musk noted that humanoid robots are happening and even explained that Optimus is a worker droid. The droid's primary purpose is to take over repetitive, boring, and dangerous tasks, or the things that people just do not want to do. Doppner then went ahead to ask whether downloading a person's identity into the bot could mean that person would have eternal life. To this, Musk responded with a definite yes. He then claimed that people would have the ability to download specific characteristics that they believe are unique to them. Elon Musk believes that this could work and help humans retain memories and even personalities. The Daily Star interviewed Tom Cheese Wright, a self-described futurist, about technology. He said that this technology could help us input our consciousness into artificial intelligence and virtual reality robots one day. However, he also said that we are pretty far from achieving this. He said, ultimately, I think it is possible. He then went on to say, you have to download the software of your whole body and recreate it in a way the brain feels is plausible. Replicating that inside a machine is an enormously complex proposition, and we're a very long way from achieving it. With the way things are going, we could see all this mind uploading happening sooner than expected. Some of the major tech companies are working towards this, mainly the 2045 initiative. But could this really be a viable option? Could it actually work and help humans live up to 150 years? There are so many questions about this that only time will help answer. And that brings us to the end of our video. What are your thoughts about uploading our brains into the metaverse? Do you think it is possible to move to the metaverse and leave the real life behind? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Hit that bell icon to catch the latest video as soon as it's out. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.